The grass that we planted a few weeks ago is coming up beautifully, thank goodness. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like after it's got a few months of snow sitting on top of it, but I'm confident it'll come up and look good. But let's talk about the rafter hangers and the ledger that so many have asked questions about. Now this is a clip from a video of about a year ago when I was putting the floor joists and the rim joists in. And what I'm trying to show is that the rim joists that the addition rafters are connected to is a 2x12. So rather than using a ledger board or another 2x12, which I don't have enough of, that's the main reason, is I, I didn't have enough 2x12s to put a whole new ledger board against the outside of the house. And I knew, frankly, that the 2x12 that the floor joists sit on was probably stronger than the ledger board anyway. So I toenailed all of the addition rafters into the rim joist or the 2x12, which is now also acting as my ledger board for the outside addition. Part of the reason the roof is pitched the way that it is is because I can only go so high in order to make sure that I tie in correctly to that 2x12 rim joist. So I toenailed all of the addition rafters into that 2x12 rim joist with the intention of coming back and using what's called an LSU-210 Simpson rafter hanger. The reason I toenailed all of the rafters in place first is I wanted to make sure they were all sitting at the proper height. I'm sure I could have installed those adjustable rafter hanger first, and that's probably the right way to do it, but I was worried that the rafters would not be sitting at the proper height that I wanted them to sit at. So I toenailed all of these rafters in place. As you can see, I also blocked them to give it more strength once the blocking is all in place, I'm going to go back and install these adjustable rafter hangers. I did have to use the sawzall in a couple places to trim the nails out of the way so I could slide those rafter hangers up in, but, but the end result is I have the addition rafters not only tied into that 2x12 rim joist, but also using those rafter hangers, it just guarantees that I don't care how much snow slides off that second story, it will never tear those rafters off of that wall. And that's ultimately all I care about. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty with these 2x12s, meaning I don't have very many left. So I'm using the leftover scraps as my blocking where it's needed. I've had these adjustable rafter hangers sitting in a box for almost a year and a half waiting for me to get this done. I'm using what are called Tico nails, both to tie it into the rafter as well as to tie it into the rim joist. These are required by code. Because I'm also nailing through the OSB sheathing that's on the outside, I used a little bit longer Tico nails against the house versus the Tico nails I used in the 2x12s. Each one of these rafters will end up with about 10 Tico nails holding it to that 2x12 rim joist as well as another 6 holding it to the rafter. This is what's required by code. 
Now, in my opinion, the way that I did this is actually stronger than using a ledger board. But the benefits of using a ledger board versus doing it this way is I could have raised the roof up to whatever height I wanted. The reason I didn't do this is because I've already put the flashing in on the front of the house determining the front porch height. When I installed the siding on the front of the house, I took the time to put the flashing up right at the top of that rim joist on the front of the house. So what I'm trying to do is make the front porch and the addition pitch of the roof the exact same. Once I get all the rafter hangers in place, I'm going to go back and add blocking in between the 2x12s, mainly for the OSB to be nailed into. I will more than likely go back and add all the blocking necessary on the four foot marks with the OSB to give it even more strength. Now technically I could have used two by eights on the addition, but because I wanted to have 10 inches of insulation and two inches of air gap, I needed to have that two by 12. The end result is by having these two by 12s, 16 on center, it's probably rated for about 130 or 140 pound snow load. By code, I must build this house to at least an 80 pound snow load. In town, eight miles from here, it's a 60 pound snow load. I could have put the original roof trusses at 20 inches on center, but again, the one thing I didn't want to do was underbuild this house. I've done everything at 16 on center, even my floor joists are 12 inches on center. When I originally bought all of these 2x12s, it would have been about five dollars or $6,000 worth of lumber that I ended up getting for a couple thousand dollars because somebody ordered them and ended up not using them. I've had them sitting waiting for me to finish this and I literally have just enough to finish the project. I'm going to have to find more 2x12s for the front porch. This will also be the fire escape for the upstairs bedrooms. There's also been a number of questions about the back door. And the answer is yes, it will be covered. The same exact roof line will carry over that back porch sitting on a beam. And this will likely be the area where we keep a lot of our firewood waiting to bring it in the house as we need to. We have some rain in the forecast combined with Cedar's parents coming into town for the weekend. We have some family activities this weekend, so odds are I'm not going to get back up here. I was trying to get the OSB down and ready for inspection, 
hoping that I could get the inspector up first part of the week. I've got a little bit more to do on the roof. I also need to go pick up the one by threes or one by fours that I'm gonna use on the exposed eaves. But for the most part, everything's done. Before I can start putting the roof down, I have to get this inspected. The moment I get it inspected, I'll get the roof dried in, get the Tyvek on the outside of the house, and I just found all the rest of the tin that I'm going to use to finish both the front and the back addition. <laughs> 